So Rainbow Six Siege 2 has been a massive talking point in the community recently. A lot of people have been kind of asking for one and saying maybe we should take another look at this and try and restart the game a bit, sort of like how Overwatch 2 has done with Overwatch. And although I'm not particularly against that, Ubisoft have said in the past that they don't really see that as a valuable option and would rather focus all efforts on the current version of Siege rather than starting to make a brand new one again. And I will admit I do understand both sides of the argument, but what if I told you that there is already a Rainbow Six game coming out which is sort of like a sequel to Siege and could excel straight past it and i'm talking about rainbow six mobile now hear me out i don't need to click off now and just saying okay it's mobile it's going to be a dumpster fire just hear me out for a second according to the global games market report of 2022 by the research company nuzu the mobile gaming market made up 53 percent of all gaming revenue which is the highest and majority compared to console which is 27 percent and pc which is 19 percent as well as this it also had the most growth out of them all as well so as hard as it is to believe mobile gaming is actually the biggest form of gaming on the planet and Rainbow Six taking a step into that is massive. I've actually been playing the beta for Rainbow Six Mobile and as someone who's not a massive mobile gamer themselves it's really good. They've got the siege mechanics and gameplay very well. This game has been built from the ground up to replicate siege but have its own mobile spin on it. It's using the same operators from siege, the same maps from siege, the same gunplay and game mechanics. There's a mode which is quite mobile friendly so a lot of the enemies have red outlines as more health it feels like. It's a bit more lenient to casual mobile players. But when you get on that veteran mode, it feels like Siege. There's no red outlined, it feels like it's a faster time to kill just like Siege, and it feels very competitive. Games such as PUBG Mobile have completely surpassed their predecessors on PC, such as PUBG. Fortnite is also massive on the mobile market as well. Call of Duty has already stepped into that sector, with Apex Legends also coming in hot now, and rumoured to be Valorant as well. That's really interesting if that comes true. So it makes so much sense that Rainbow Six Mobile has became a thing and that Ubisoft has stepped into this. It is a solid game, and it honours Rainbow Six Siege very well and like I said with the mobile market being the biggest the free to play accessibility of it the fact that it actually is good it works well it plays very well it's a good game this could surpass Rainbow Six Siege and also benefit Siege. Having this game in this market and potentially and has a high chance of doing very well will also reflect very well on Siege and this is a different team working on it so it doesn't take away resources from Siege itself so if Ubisoft can really manage to get those issues on the current version of Siege mainly cheating of course there are some other issues when it comes to content and bugs as well but if they can really nip that in the bud and rainbow six mobile exceeds then both games have a really bright future and i just don't see them doing rainbow six siege anytime soon guys rainbow six mobile's release is just right around the corner and they will be focusing a lot of their statistics and sales on that for shareholders and stuff like that and you have to look at siege as well despite all of its problems on ubisoft's behalf they are making record money from it it is doing insanely well financially so for the most part they don't really want to touch that product as well only continue to update it. So listen, this isn't me saying that Rainbow Six Siege 2 is a stupid idea and I don't think it's going to happen in the future, but right now it's really not in Ubisoft's best interest to do that. They've already said in the past that they don't want to do that. Siege is making a bucket load of money for them right now and Rainbow Six Mobile is the next big step for them and I'm really interested to see where it's going to go. I know a lot of you guys might not even enjoy mobile games yourself, but you also got to think that getting all these new names and eyes on the Rainbow Six IP is surely going to do a lot for Siege and hopefully boost its player base again. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have been watching this gameplay I have in the background and like I said it's a very good game it has a lot of the same mechanics which Siege has most of the operators gadgets are the same you still have reinforcing breaching walls they're still you know shooting through walls and all that you can still punch through walls the entire destruction is pretty much the same when it comes to maps for the most part they are all the same as well there is a little bit of adjustments when it comes to spawns and they've added some new rotations outside and sometimes they've maybe changed a ladder for a staircase for the most part these are the same maps we all know and love from Siege they of course will continue to update it with brand new operators as well. The free to play aspect will be a very massive draw to a lot of people and there probably will be, sorry, there definitely will be a pro league as well. And these games do insanely well in countries such as India where components for PCs and consoles are extremely expensive compared to the wage that they get. So mobile gaming is a massive thing for them. I just think that's really nice when even put it per circumstances when it comes to, you know, having to pay high rates for PCs and consoles. There's this massive market and group of gamers can still sustain themselves with mobile gaming and I just think that's a really nice thing to see and honestly I hope this game does do very well in those sectors because a lot of people you know due to their geographical circumstances can't play Rainbow Six Siege so Rainbow Six Mobile gives them that access to this game that we all love then that just makes me so happy and I really do want to see it succeed so guys to finalize this yes I think Rainbow Six Siege 2 would be something that's beneficial but right now I don't think that's gonna happen are you excited for Rainbow Six Mobile do you not care I'm interested to hear your thoughts have an incredible
the rest of your day, guys. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.